Welcome to the help video series of Central Price Data Integrator. In this video, we are going to examine the project and source control functionality of Central Price. A project is a logical grouping of uh, data flows, workflows, subflows, data models, and any other artifacts that you can create inside the product. The concept of project becomes vital when it comes to the team development inside Central Price. Shared on the screen is a sample project. It's called sampleproject.cprj. All the project related commands are available under the project menu item, such as to create a new project, open an existing project, open a project from the source control directly, close the project, verify it, refresh it, or to change parameters for the entire project. And it also shows the recently opened projects at the bottom. I just opened one project that is sampleproject.cprj. As you can see here, it has a few data flows, a few workflows, a few subflows, and a folder that contains something related to the data models that includes one data model and uh, one data flow. So as you can see here, you can organize your project the way you want. You can add any kind of uh, new item supported by the, uh, by the version of your center prize. You can add folders, you can organize it the way you want. To add a new item to the project, you click on the top node and you go to add new items. And you can add any items such as data flows, workflows, subflows, and data models, and so on and so forth. You can add an existing item. So if the item is already available, you can add it to the project. You can add a new folder, and uh, there are other options such as you can run all the items under, under a given folder or the entire project. And then there are items related to the source control. We'll come to that once we in, uh, go to the source control features. Once you have the project created, you can verify the entire project by clicking on this Verify Project button. You can refresh the project after making any changes. Or you can replace the parameter information for the entire project. When it does that, it goes through all the items inside the project and gives you a unified, distinct list of all the parameters, such as the file paths used in the data flows, workflows, and database connection information, web path information, and all the information is shown to you in a distinct list. And you can modify it one place and make changes at all the, in, uh, in all the places wherever they're used. Once you have the project, you can open any of the items inside it by double clicking on the item inside the tree and also all the items are available for you for drag and drop so say for example I'm working with a workflow and I would like to drag and drop a data flow onto it I can do a drag and drop onto the, onto the designer similarly if I'm working with a, a data flow and I would like to use a subflow I can do that too so that drag and drop is supported uh, from inside the project tree now let's move on to the source control part of the project. This version of Central Prize comes fully integrated with Microsoft Team Foundation source control. What it means that whenever you create any of these uh, projects that includes uh, workflows, subflows, and all your artifacts, and they're stored on your system disk, you can, you can connect them to a source control, and uh, you can work within a team and where the, all, the pro, all the team functionality is available from Team Foundation. This project is already connected to the source control. As you can see here, there's little lock icons, and they are telling us that these files are under source control. So if I want to work on some file, I would do a right-click on it and check out this file for editing. Once I'm done with my changes, I will check it in so that other people can get the latest version and see my changes. So that's how this works in the, in the team environment. You can get any specific version as well. Uh, you can see the history, so you can take any of the files and see history that who has made any changes. As you can see here at the bottom, it shows me uh, when it was created and who made the changes and all that. If you have any file checked out to you, and you would like to do a comparison with uh, the version that is stored in the source control, you can do that. 
uh, you can see all the pending changes those are those are checked out to you uh, you can undo pending changes if you're not satisfied with your changes so such things you can do with any of the files and you can use all these features for source control all the source control related features for project are available under the context menu however there is a source control explorer available inside the project where you can see all the items inside the pro inside the source control so if I go here I can see all my projects and uh, my, my organization inside the source control for example if I go to the test branch and I go to the enterprise projects I can see the same project sample project that I have it op opened here with the right click I can do most of the stuff that I that we already saw inside the Project Explorer, you can do the same thing from here as well. This concludes the help video about the projects and source controls. Thanks for watching this video.